Hey, Dave Knight here from 123daytrade.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Today was Tuesday, March 6, 2018. Hope you had a great day. I didn't do as good as I wanted to. Uh, do you ever have one of those days where you have an epiphany and you see something and you think, well, that kind of makes sense. But but then it's you're you're have allowed yourself to to get into um, too much of a loss to be able to turn it around. Uh, today was just every time I got in, the market would backfill back up. And I tried a couple longs today, and um, it just wasn't one of those days that worked out for me. I mean, it looked like it was going to go long for a while. It looked like it was going to go down for a while. And it just kind of stayed. And there was some good volume inside there that makes some good decisions. But the market, if I could take back, there's always, it seems to be two trades every day that if I could just take those two back, I would have a little bit more staying power in the market. Or maybe turn it from a negative to a positive without those two trades that I, I get in. And that's what I'm, honestly, that's what I'm working on right now. I'm working on um, trying to be more specific in my, my trade selection is what what uh, I as I don't have a fear of pushing a button, which some of us have that fear. You know, we get uh, fearful of even getting into a trade because the fear of being wrong. Well, I know that I'm going to be wrong more than half the time. So my my winning percentage is around 30, 35 percent overall. So knowing that I'm only going to win, you know, three of 10 trades or, or at, but at most four of 10 trades in any given time, it helps to know that, and, you know, to know your, your winning percentage, you know, I'm roughly at 30, 35% as an overall trader uh, on the winning percentage. And I stay pretty close to that. Um, and the, the big wins come occasionally. And that's when you see me posting like 79 ticks or 80 ticks here, 66 ticks here. The, those trades make up for a lot of the small mistakes that I that I end up making, and I don't want to hamstring myself to the to the point that I don't take the trades, and I certainly don't want to hamstring myself inside of a trade trading range because more times than not, as a day trader, you're going to find yourself in a trading range trying to make a trade, a breakout coming one way or the other, and it's it's you can you can say what you're going to do. As a day trader, but when you have a very minimum amount of money that you can risk in any given day, you've got to pick your places and you got to choose your spots. And 500 bucks in in any given day is very easy to run uh, on the winning side or the losing side. And anybody that thinks differently when it comes to that, you, you know what? You're just full of shit. You just don't know enough about trading to know what you're doing. So on on one side, I, I want I want two more points I want to talk about and then I'm going to go. One, I'm not going to tolerate any negative bullshit comments in, into any section of any comment. I've already knocked a couple of people off my channel. I'll continue to knock people off. This is not for your benefit to get negative with negative criticism. And trust me, there's a difference between negative criticism and constructive criticism. Be respectful. If you wouldn't say that to my face, and I wouldn't say that to your face, then why the fuck would you write it down to start with? You know, have some common courtesy when you're typing in those messages. Otherwise, I'm just going to ban your ass, and I'll never help you. Never. You know, I've got a lot of information, a lot of knowledge that's in here. Either you believe it or you don't. And I don't care one way or the other. A lot of the times I put this information up for my own self-benefit so that I can review it. Your side of that is you get to see it as well. You know, so I suffer from ADD. I suffer from short-term memory loss sometimes. I forget some of the things along the way that I should be doing. And that's not... And I have... You know, I've got issues that each one of us have to deal with, right? But I don't need to take it. I don't have to take your crap. And anytime that once once I I see a name 
and I've are eliminated you and you make a post, trust me, I don't read anything that you post after that. There, there's nothing, nothing. Once you get that third strike, there's nothing that you write that I see. If I put you in a timeout, I'm not going to read anything that you post until I put myself back, you, you mentally, out of timeout. I write a list of who's in timeout and I put them there. And trust me, you can write a novel. The only thing I'm going to do is see your name and delete. That's all I'm going to see. I've already, I can hide you from my, 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 uh, my feed and I can, I can mute you out of me not even seeing you. So the only place that I will see anything that you write is inside the comments. And trust me, there's enough time to see your name in the comment when I'm scrolling and hit the delete button. And I don't see anything, not one damn thing that you post. So you can write a novel. You can write three books. I, could, I don't care. I won't see a damn thing until I take you out of timeout. And then... If you do something, you do shit again, I just ban you for life. So it is what it is. Either you follow my rules or you get the fuck out of Dodge. Period. Now, part three, vision board. I can't wait to show you what I was able to use. And what what I do is half the money that I earn, which I made 1078 on that last check that I had. I allow myself to get something up to half the money on my vision board and I and I get it. And I've already purchased it. I purchased it on Sunday of, um, of, of, of this couple of days ago. I, I, got, I purchased it and supposedly it's coming in Tuesday of next week. So um, you got to reward yourself for, you know, for your efforts that you have. And and I struggle. Trust me, God, you know, the day was just, today was one of those days. It looked like the market was going to go down. Then it looked like the market was going to go up. And honestly, I overslept. I, I overslept. I missed the opening short trade. I didn't get to my, my computer station. For some reason, I just slept through my alarm. Uh, and I think it has a lot to do with the new meds that they put me on. Uh, I, I just don't have... Like when I was on Adderall, I had lots of energy and I was able to get up and had no problems. Now this new med that I'm on right now, I don't want to say the name. Uh, that it, it just it just makes me sluggish and tired and and I just don't have any energy. And I physically took every pill of that out of the box. So I'm gonna go cold turkey on on any side. I'm I'm on my anxiety medicine. But I'm taking myself off of, of the ADD medicine because I, I just for I just don't see I don't know maybe there is a benefit but I don't see it I don't see because by the time and by the time I get myself I kind of get two full cups of coffee in well usually you know I, I got to get at least one of these in me to start feeling human again and I don't know why it is it just that's the way it is. And that's my issue that I deal with. And that's what I struggle with. So I miss, you know, a part of me says, you know, I might as well not even sleep at nighttime because I'm awake. I'm, I'm like wide awake right now at 1.32 o'clock in the morning. And by the time I'm falling asleep, you know, it doesn't matter. It's like 3, 3.30 by the time I fall asleep. And I think, well, why don't I just stay up and trade uh, the, the, uh, the European and, and, and the, the British Open? Um, I don't really want to get into that, but, you know, if I look back at Monday, if I look back at today, you know, all I would have to do is follow the law, the, uh, the highest volume bar and trade in that direction of, of whatever that was at any given time. Um, I don't know. Things to be said, things to be seen, things to think of, uh, uh, as well. Do I want to stay up all night? And then fall asleep and basically be a graveyard shift here in America. Is that what I want to be? Do I want to have a graveyard shift from, because it seems like some of the easiest trades are coming at the 2.30 a.m. CST mark, 3.30 my time. Um, some of the easiest trades are coming from that mark to, you know, so there was a nice couple setups and then at 7 a.m. 
8 a.m. my time was another nice setup today. Um, then it's just a matter of, of, of just, I don't know. I mean, I don't want to get into it, but the hard trades are seem to come when I, in the American market. All the hard trade setups seem to come in the, uh, the American market right now. And the easy setups are coming in the European market. Wednesday is about the only day that I can say, all right, well, I can wait for the inventory report to come out. Outside of that, you know, it, it's and then maybe Fridays, um, you, you don't you trade the, the American session. But I don't know, maybe Monday, Tuesdays and Thursdays, you trade the European or Monday and Tuesday, you trade the European and then Wednesday the, through Friday, you trade the American. So um, I'm looking back at, at that and trying to make up my mind what I want to do. You know, do I want to stay up Sunday night and basically go from from Sunday night into Monday morning and then crash sometime in Monday afternoon, get back up on Tuesday morning at around three and then trade uh, around the clock, you know, that time and then crash after that until Wednesday inventory report and then be on the American schedule for the rest of the week. So do I want to from Sunday night through Tuesday afternoon, do I want to be on the European schedule? And then the rest of the week be on the American schedule. So some of those things that I'm thinking right now, I mean, honestly, you know, when you look at the market, you say, wow, look how it's trending at the European. Look what you see the volume level. You see a nice one, two, three setup. You see a nice flowing market that just trends one way. And then another high volume bar comes up and then it goes the other direction and it trades inside the range. Maybe once the range gets too small, Maybe it doesn't make sense, but when you've got these larger ranges right now, maybe it makes more sense to uh, to do something like that. So those that can trade crude oil and uh, on the European, you guys got to be like thrilled right now. Is if I was if that was my normal market to be able to trade, I look back, I think, well, look at the, all these nice wins that I could put in the bank right here, and and have a nice winning trade set up before the American market even opened up. So anyway, that's just my food for thought. Uh, and that's all I want to talk about today. All right, I'm done. Um, as far as video today, uh, unlisted, I'm not going to post it up. I don't want to, I just, it's going to be unlisted. You know, a lot of the videos I put up, I put up for the, for the benefit of, of some of the individuals that, that watch me and I put it up there. So I'm not against you seeing it. I just not going to make it, you know, and I might unlist some of the others as well until, you know, things calm down uh, in my email box and on the YouTube itself underneath the comment section. So uh, just because one person says something, I still get, um, and, and does it, you know, does it affect my breathing? My wife says, if it affects your breathing, then you, you've got to eliminate something. So the, the other thing is I just eliminate even, I, I unlist every trading video that I put out there and, and, and you don't get the benefit from that. So I'm trying not to get to that stage. I, I want, it's, it's kind of like, you know, that this is me thinking out loud in real time, my trading strategy and, and throwing things in that I like and throwing things out that I don't like. And, and knowing there's, you know, the market conditions that we're in right now today, I don't care who you were. If you missed the open trade in the American market, it was a tough market to trade today. It was extremely tough. If you caught the American market in the open uh, at the eight o'clock mark, you know, I had, um, um, so say that you got in at the 86 level, I think 6286 today, you know, there was a decent move that if you could have held on all the way down to pivot today. So there was an opportunity to get a 3P profit target. It's just that it was a lot of this all the way through. So <laughs> I know, Kip, uh, you're thinking, well, you're rattling. Well, today I'm rattling. There's a lot of things on my mind, and I just wanted to get that off my chest for a little bit. So, hey, um, 
that's about all I have to say. All right. Dave Knight here from 123 Day Trade. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. I'll see you on the next video I put together. Bye for now.